Bruno, Bruno. please. So Bruno, I was no. I was eager to jump in, and the way the reason I'm saying I was eager to jump in is that is there a place where people are being trained to be good fathers if they don't have a father that's trained them? Can I answer? Yes, please. Now, there's a reason why the family structure, the unit, is the way it was from the beginning. Man. No, no, no. Don't go far wrong. I'm saying, okay. is there a place for parents, for a father that doesn't have a father? I'm not, like I said, I'm not opening excuses for them. But in order oh. to find a solution to a problem, we have to analyze this problem with a view to finding a solution. So we can talk uh, we can talk from now to tomorrow. A deadbeat okay. father that is intentional, that he wants to be deadbeat, is going to be like that. But we are giving mm. room to people who will listen to this and be like, okay, maybe I need to visit my roots. I need to know why I'm doing this. What, what, what do I need to know? Why, why should I do something differently for what I used to do? Okay, let me give so you an example. Let me give you an example of how it used to be handled before, before we lost control. Because I believe we've lost control now. Back in yeah. back then, a man has kids. Those days, men could tell if they were strong enough up to it or not. They could tell. They didn't need anybody to tell them. So, so you see this father sending off these stubborn kids or whatever kids they have off to uh, an older brother or another relative that would, you know, somebody that is manly enough that is going to be able to inculcate what he feels he cannot put in the child. So it's can, can, I stop you there? can I just yeah. stop you there? The reason, now, the, the example you are given is a fantastic one, but do you know that from those strong uh, men or strong relatives, that's where abuse started from? Do you know that? Yes. Okay, go on. Okay. So, no, I, we are going to come into abuse later, on, but I just want to state how these things were solved then. So you have them sending up their kids to these people. Even till this day, you go to people's homes, a child is misbehaving. They say, oh, I'm sending you to Uncle Abaja's house. Then you just see the child adjust. Or maybe say mom, a single mom who doesn't have, uh, they, without a father, maybe the father is late or something. They just say, oh, you, you failed in your test. You didn't do well. And you're a truant and all that. I am sending you to Uncle Abaja. Then immediately you just see that uh, brain reset taking place like, Ah, mommy, I'm sorry. I won't do it again. This is that. Back then, I used to see those things. It's no more like that again. All these things I'm saying, they are no more in existence. It's free for all. Everybody's on autopilot. It's free for all now. You can't even correct a kid anymore. That's what I'm talking about. Ron, people don't want to send their kids to any anti like Wajja, whatever, because we found out with a lot of people in our generation. And even some people in the generation after us and some people in the generation before, there are lots of abuse happens. It do, it's not even, we're not even talking sexual abuse, like psychological abuse, you know, physical abuse, where some kids were, you know, had marks uh, or, or uh, broken bones or, you know, again, any kind of mental torture in the name of, oh, you were sent to me so for me to, to, you know, because that person then, can start looking at, the, at themselves like some kind of demigod that I can do whatever I want to do with you. Your parents sent you to me to come and to come and get training, and therefore I can do whatever I want. And then some of those things become sadistic. They become like really evil in the name of I'm training this child, you know. So that's why a lot of people don't send their kids to, to anybody anymore. Let's not be to generalize the example you gave remember that the example you are giving is in the is in the lower percentage not everybody that went off for training when came back scared you were here when k you were here where pk was talking about the man who sent him to school and how he idolizes and and i he, he idolizes the guy till this day it's not everybody bad things happen to good people whether or not you are in a good setting or a bad setting, we can't escape these things. They all, even when you protect your own child, your own child, don't go out, don't mix with this, don't talk to that person. You find out that the day the child decides to wander to go and watch television somewhere, something happens. So, Ron, going back to my question, so what I was thinking is, I'm saying that is there a place where people learn how to be good parents? 
So you gave me an example saying that back in the days, people have, you know, um, relatives where they can send um, that um, children yeah. to at the concert. And so that is also shifting responsibility to another person. And I'm saying that this all begins from awareness of mm -hmm. male and female. If we, if we run away from the dogma of boy meets girl, girl meets boy, and the next thing is that um, six months after I want to get married with no clue, and the parents or family member has no question to have to say, oh, they love each other, they need to get married. If we move away from those nonsense, right, then we start thinking as humans. Now, a child that has never lived alone before, I'm talking of a female child now, they've always been lived, they're like, you know, like chicken that you want to cage somewhere. They've never lived away from the home before. The opportunity, the only opportunity they had is probably to go to uni or college or whatever, diploma, whatever, and they finish, they go back to their cage, right? And that child, rather than allowing that child to, to grow into adulthood, because automatically people are supposed to grow as they grow older, they're supposed to develop, even though scientifically we know that some people still have mental illness that will not make them to develop, okay? We know that they see any dead big father that is, that, is out, that is dead big, there's something wrong with him psychologically. There is some, it's not a normal human being. It needs to be diagnosed. They need to have a look at him because if you follow I don't like why Sean is laughing. Seriously, there is a mental illness. And, and it's vice versa. Any woman that, that has a, a husband, like a, somebody that's really looking after the children and there is no abuse and there is nothing, and she just woke up one day and said, oh, I don't like my husband anymore. I just want to go. Even though I know that most women don't fall into that category, but let's assume they do. If you do that, there is, there is clear, clear sign of mental illness which is one I just don't like because they see it as a way to excuse. But if you diagonize those people, I'm not a doctor, okay? Um, if you diagonize those people properly, you will know that there is a sign of psychosis or a kind of illness that people need to go and actually look at them because they cannot be normal and have a child and then leave the child and not look after the children, all right? But let's look at it from this angle. Do we like to talk about sex, for instance? Oh, sorry, SES, SES, let me not say that. Do we like to talk oh, about feel, it? Do we no, even no, mention sorry. Feel free. Feel free. Do we even mention it? So uh, if you are still in that generation that they must off like before they do, they do. How would you now not know when a child comes and all that? If you are still in that generation that you'd be like, okay, let's not talk about it. So, hey, what is this? Oh, it's private part. What's that? No, it's not called private part. It's your, you name the name. If you're still in that generation, Okay, and we have, we, all of a sudden, we all act childish, and then automatically, something just makes you, oh, because you have a child now, you're now a parent. It doesn't happen like that. That's why we are different from, from our white counterparts. So we need to run from, so girl meets boy syndrome. You see a girl, a, a typical, and I'm sorry if I'm generalizing now, but you ask a typical Nigerian man, or probably men, and say, why do you want to get married? Ah, if I get married like this, my wife will be cooking for me. Oh, my wife will be doing this for me. Those kind of childish, babyish mentality, what will it bring out? Tell me. So if you have the, the, the um, um, what's that thing? Prince, Prince love um, mentality. Oh, Cinderella. Oh, yeah, it's my prince, it's my prince. No common sense. What would happen with when those kind of human beings, when they give birth to a child? So we have to start from the root by knowing that, okay, let us educate the people within our own parameters. Let people know so we can say, oh, this person is a deadbeat father. Okay, why is this person? What do you need to do? How many deadbeat fathers do you know? Have you had opportunity to talk to them? Or you're just going to say, oh, it's not good to be a deadbeat father. But really, you that is talking about somebody being deadbeat father, you are not dead. You live inside the house with your child. But you don't even know anything about that house. And you're exactly. seeing the deadbeat father. So yeah. it's easy to name names. It's easy to point fingers. But we all need to go back to our drawing board and be the change we want to see in the world. So that's why I wouldn't say, oh, this 
deadbeat mothers, or this, 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 we all, because this is as a result of faulty backgrounds. We are all taking water from the same pot. So automatically, somehow, somehow, we will be acting the same way. Only slight people, maybe luck, maybe chances, will make some people different. But we can do better by educating ourselves, by educating the people around us, by educating our children, our communities. I hope somebody is watching this and thinking, okay, what can I do to that baby father? What can I do to that baby mother? This is to say, you're a bad man. You are a baby father. You left your children. You shouldn't do that. No. Is there anything? What, what, do you know the, the benefits? What's the benefit of you looking after your child? A lot of men, they are left in the, um, what's it called? Um, they are left in a place where they are being kept there, in the, even abroad, because they've never looked after their children. And so when they grow older, they tend not to see anyone to look after them. Okay? And I'm not saying the people that look after their children, there's an automatic um, wherever that their children are going to look after them, but just do the good, um, you know, what you, what, you, what you have gained from your parents or what you have seen the society teaching you, be the change you want to be in the world. You want to see in the world. So I am saying, I'm making conscious effort to myself to say that when I see a deadbeat father or maybe, um, you know, people that they, 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 they are thinking differently, making conscious effort to say that, you know what, I understand. It's not easy. I could have been raped many years ago by somebody and the person that could have raped me is still on Facebook. is a professor. So if I come out tomorrow now, let's say I'd raped me and I said, oh, baby mother, somebody would have blamed me. Particularly, where did I, why did I go to where he raped me? Why was I there? You know, what did I do? Even my parents at the time, they couldn't even believe me that this person was about to molest me. Okay? And he's alive. And he's a church member. A strong church person. <laughs> and if I, okay. come out with my, if I come out with my claim now, somebody's going to say, so what could have happened to me? I could have been that baby mama. Mm. Through no fault of my hands. But it's not enough reason. I, I'm going to say something wrong uh, before I round up. Is that you, you said you said certain things that um, these people, you know, um, they, 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 the way that they do their things, Maybe, you know, baby mama is not something to be proud about. You see, many years ago, when people, bad things happen to people, they go into the shell. Some people suffer from suicidal thoughts. Some people suffer from a lot of depression. Some people suffer from a lot of mental illness and so on. But nowadays, what people do is that, you know what, this is me. If there's nothing, even though somebody might be making it look like it's a pride thing, but people who are sensible know that there's nothing um, to be proud about being a baby mama. But the okay. thing is, but the thing is, even if they're saying it, they are only trying to, um, um, how will I put it now? I'm looking for psych a very... Themself, psych themselves up. Exactly. They, 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 so we can't be angry that they are doing that to themselves. It's just us telling the people that try and avoid this path. It's a lonely road. It's not an easy path. It's not a path that people come up and say, oh, this is what it is, you know, it's so easy if I jump in there. No. We can say that, but that doesn't mean that the people that find themselves there, they should not be like, okay, you know, because something has happened to you, that's the end of your life. So they can come out and brag to be anything uh, that they want to brag at. I'm uh, sorry. You ain't listening to me at all. Okay, you go on. It's construed what I said. Okay. Remember that even while I was saying it, I kept sympathizing with people who had no business being able, like people Wrong. who it happened to. Wrong. Right? Sorry? Yeah? Wrong. Hold on. Let me try. Wrong. Okay. Let me cut you. Let me cut in. Let me just stop you. Now. You know okay. why? I want to be the person to try and kind of explain so that Abimbola would actually realize that okay, let me let me help you out. Okay. <laughs> That's all that. Now okay. Abimbola, Ron Ron isn't saying those that are baby mamas or anything. He's, he's not saying he's not blaming them per se. What he's saying is don't don't come out and give people the opinion that 
this is cool. This is okay. Okay. Because if we say let's let's um, let's allow them, let's let's um, encourage it, so to speak. There is someone out there who doesn't know right from wrong and who think this is a way of life and so fall into the same thing. So it's it's not as if one is castigating or blaming them outright. Obviously, some or most of them were due to mistakes or uh, something beyond their control. But don't, don't, don't make it look as if it's okay. Because the problem will continue to... So, so what should they do if they find themselves in that um, situation without okay. looking like they are flaunting it? Okay, now. Exactly. Don't okay. flaunt it. It's not it. You have said... No, no, no. no. You did no. say that. No. Um, one said they flaunted. They, they have flaunted their citizens. Yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. so so do, do that. that. It's wrong. No. What I'm saying... What can they do that will not make it look like they are fronting their status? Abi, okay, they are baby mama status. Uh, 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 now, this is the thing. If you find yourself... Now, let's talk about the intentional one, the ones that want to be baby. Let's no, let's conclude, no, let's finish this one first. Then uh, we is, one. We are still saying it's the same thing. Now, okay. I'm against the intentional people who go out to become baby mamas, then become baby mamas, then come and glamorize it. I okay, make one, it one call. How is somebody intentional? So uh, they are going intentional to become baby mama, and the the baby father who is responsible when they are doing the do, he was sleeping. He didn't know that they are taking something from him to become baby mama intentionally. He didn't know this. Okay, again, I don't want to call names again because it it may not it let it not look as if I have a problem with my main man David. Do. Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with David. I don't have a problem with this. But that's not the issue. The issue is this. Women, sometimes, I know you're a decent person, but not everybody thinks like you. You can't tell. You can't tell if I am. So, but I look was, just like yeah, every other person. No, I'm just saying. Don't don't be, there's no mm. for sentimental value purposes. Uh, you can't uh, tell. Uh, for the purpose of this podcast. Yeah, presentation, uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm painting you as an angel now. You're painting I'm me as an angel. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not. No, I'm just going to see you guys talk because, as I said, I really don't have much to contribute. And apart from that, I must confess, I'm struggling with my health a bit. I'm in a lot oh, of pain. Sorry, just, uh, yeah, okay. so forgive me. But continue. I'm listening to you guys. Okay. Uh, for the purpose of this debate, let's just say you're an angel for the purpose. Okay. There are people who go out of their ways to achieve this feat. Okay? When I say go out of their ways to achieve this feat, it starts with this it starts with ah I'm not ready to be a father. Eh, me too, I'm not ready to be a mother. Okay, let's go. Uh I do you use contraceptive. Yes, now I, I use contraceptive all the time. Can't you see my uh, my contraceptive uh, injection card? Okay. Then foolishly and uh, they go ahead and something comes out of it. And it's like, ah, I don't want this baby or terminate this baby. Say, no, I'm not terminating. Can I have a seed of this celebrity and I'll come and terminate it? Never. Then this thing goes. And in most cases, these these people they are keeping the babies for are even married with families. It's okay, we are going to keep the baby. Now you have the baby under that circumstances. Now nobody can play God. It has happened, it has happened. Why then still go out in public to mm -hmm. glorify, glamorize it? That uh, I mean. You see, that's the problem. You don't know it happens. It's happening. People are glamorizing their statuses as baby mamas. That's what I'm complaining about. See, but all, all I'm saying is that, see, okay, a bad situation happened. You, have you yeah. ever seen Mission Africa before? They say, turn your level to lemonade. <laughs> so, in the bad situation, and they want to, you know, come out and say, okay, well, after this lemon, oh, you came on a turn to lemonade for them, oh. See, all I'm saying is that we can't hold people to do whatever they can brag about. Now, I... Don't it, 
danger. You want to know the danger of that? Uh, you want to what know the, the danger? danger? What is the danger of it? Are you aware that if I see a poor now, let's be practical now. I'm a rich mm -hmm. celebrity. I see a poor bread seller, hawking bread, and I impregnate her, and she's carrying my seed. Automatically, she becomes a celebrity because now she's the one carrying this guy's seed. Now she comes publicly on the social media to say, "Ah, I'm carrying this person's child. Oh, I'm now a baby mama. I'm his baby." Ma she didn't even say, "I'm his fiance, girlfriend, or anything." She openly tells you, "I'm his baby mama." What do you think the ones that finishing secondary school and coming up? Listening to all these things will do. So that's why, we, yeah. that's why we I was saying something about we need to now it's our response, not social media's responsibility. It's our responsibility to train our children. Now I've got a 14 year old and um I saw something online on Facebook one day where uh, an adult, I will use maybe I hate to be about 35 or 37, she's a lady, she's never got married before. And she got um, catfish. Catfish is when you saw it come out on the on 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 internet. And um, I told my daughter to have a look at this information. What do you think and all that? And she said, "Mommy, boy, this is so clear that this is catfish." Do you, do you do you understand that at fourteen she was able to say that this is catfish? Like if you go online, somebody telling you something, blah 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 blah. She was going on and she was explaining it. As a matter of fact, this is how I did. Like okay. She's not on Facebook. She's not, I'm begging her to go on Twitter or LinkedIn. She's not going there. But I'm saying, how did you know about this? They said they were taught in school. And I'm thinking, I think my own training, whatever, is a bit low. Thinking she wouldn't get there now. I don't have trainer about all those things now. But she already knows. Now, it is our duty to tell people, to people to know that not everything on social media is right. Is our duty, is our responsibility. It's like I, I, I tell when my kids were young, I used to tell them, don't watch pirate movies, right? Uh, and I say that because I, I see that, you know, when they watch it in the night, they start dreaming and they come up with all sorts of things. And because I say that, but on the particular day, they went to a pastor's house, quote and unquote, and they were watching witch, wizard, pirate, whatever. And they come to me, oh, mommy, you're not a pastor. I said, I know that. But this pastor person, supposedly a pastor, um, is watching all this private, um, whatever. They were even dressing up as that. And I said to her, you cannot train people how they're going to act, how they're going to react, and what they're going to do. So if you have somebody on your WhatsApp, for instance, my kids are on WhatsApp, they have their phone, and the person is showing bomb. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to be talking to everybody showing bomb and say stop showing bomb stop. all i'm going to say is that block that person that is showing that thing anything take your mind so that is where education comes through because the world is going gaga it's going crazy you cannot stop people from expressing themselves talk is cheap that's what they are doing do you understand? So we can, for, for all we care, we can say, oh, this fashion, this person is doing this, this person. Mm -hmm. People have to make a big deal out of whatever they are doing. Mm -hmm. Now, when Obi Kobana come out, sorry, when he came out with his party and all that, while well, some people are like, oh, that's fantastic, and I'm like, oh, that's nonsensical, somebody that, 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 that. But it's anything that's happening on social media is a talking point for family to say that. This is what I read here. Have you seen it? Do you know what this thing is wrong, is right? Do you know why it happened? Why should you be a, away from that? It's a talking point from household. So families that don't want their children to do that, they need to talk to them. The ones that want to continue in that way, in that manner, we can't stop them. So this is my own take. This is my own take. I'm not saying so, what they are so doing. On the same page. It means we're on the same page then. Yeah. yeah, I'm not saying what they are doing is right, but all I'm saying is that... Yeah, give me five, give me five. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Finally. Oh, I'm going to sleep well tonight. <laughs> <laughs>